Clouded up, and we're here with the Centrum Force boys. Introduce Hi, yourself, name. fellas. And, oh, sorry, ladies. <laughs> Ron? I'm Rob Wood. Rob Wood? What's your affiliation with the company? Um, I design and build everything. I thought that was his job. He's just been faking it all these years? <laughs> I, I give him all the ideas. Okay. And your job? <laughs> Me? I'm just here. <laughs> that's the job I want. <laughs> then we all know this guy. Not sure what he does. So we're gonna let's back up a little bit and show the super trailer. Super impressive route or uh, gadget here. But let's let's walk our way through it all, Tom. That would kill me. So we got the dolphin tank here. Yes, this is where we put all the fish. We just scale them. We turn it on and it rotates and the scales fall off all the fish. It's enclosed because you didn't want to knock a bunch of dust all over your, your guests, there, correctly? It's called the tumble dust. What else we got? Over here we have miniaturized wash tub. Well, that water looks good. Yes. We've been washing rugs. Is this how they're sold with the squirrel cage over them? Just to that's keep fingers out? That's it. So they can't get your fingers caught in there. How much is this gadget separately? Well, this this is not for sale. This is just. Well, if I wanted a tub at home, yeah, about thirty nine thousand dollars. Thirty nine grand. You get the motor. You get okay. a motor too. Delivered. Yes. Okay. And the tumbler is how much? Uh, that ranges from size to expensive, so seventeen thousand. Oh, there are more sizes than that. Yes. What size is that one? This is only a six footer. They go up to twelve. Twelve. And uh, our good buddy Robert Mann has what? Two of these. He has two. And this size? Your good buddy Randy Hyde. I got one too. And they have these small ones. The little guys like myself would have small ones. And what'd you say the price was on this one? It's about seventeen thousand. Well, that's a bargain. Yes. And most people are running those in an enclosed closet. That's the, that is the idea. Otherwise, you, you just can't Otherwise, control it. If you live way out in the rules, sometimes I've seen them put them on wheels and roll them outside. And by the time it dies down, the floor is covered in dirt, and you got to have some kind of system to get all that dirt out of there. Yeah, we call that a broom. A broom or a vacuum cleaner. Is this one of those little poodle dryers? What are we looking at here? This thing here. Oh, this is just a little... Ruth was showing me one of those gadgets for drying your dog. Is that it? This is a pump, my son. Well, that's just a pump. Okay, yeah. it looks a lot like the poodle dryer. Over here we have the little product that came out just this year. Fringe Plus. And what is it in a nutshell, Tom? It's a creamy substance designed specifically to get dirt or grease out of fringes. So it doesn't brighten them, it doesn't bleach them, it gets the dirt. You figured out a way to make use of all that Guinness foam, in other words. Okay, then you got your uh, a mini rack, and these can be made in any length, right? That's right. This is just a show model. And the Typically, price range on one of them? 3,200, you get thir uh, six 13-foot uh, uh, poles like you see here, and with wheels so you can roll them around. That's our standard. And this Quick. here is just to keep it from pulling out or something? That's right. Oh, for up here. Yep. All built in America, right? That's it. Okay, almost done. And this is uh, probably the shortest Century Max you make, correct? That's right. It's a six-footer called the SP6. Greg's going to catch me in case I biff. <laughs> So this is what, an uh, uh, eight-footer technically? This is a six-footer. Six-footer, jeez. Little steel, it only comes one way with a stainless steel uh, cylinder. Do you sell any six-footers? Yeah. Why wouldn't you go big or go home? Well, for example, you, you have folks that do a lot of six-by-nines or smaller. Yeah. And they don't want to tie up the 14-footer, they're in the production. And... Once you put in your plant, it's not on wheels, right? That thing would be yes. all over the place? No. It's on wheels. Oh, really? So that's a huge part of your suspension. Vibration isolator. Now, the one I saw on Ellen's was bolted to the floor, right? With the big pillows? Yep. And they have the uh, vibration isolator. Is that an option? On these, they're sold like this, so you can park them out of the way in the rug plant, or they can be vibration isolators. And it's bigger, just... The bigger machines have vibration isolators that are rubber and you can okay. hold them. And is it a quick connect on the electricity? That's it. 220. At one point, well maybe the bigger machine you were mounting the electric panel on the spinner, right? Well, that was maybe the first 
Do y'all do that at all anymore? Always off because the vibration, the vibration potential moisture. Yeah. Now, this one doesn't look like it's designed to put the, the water through the center to do the constant flushing, or is it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can Just hold your hose? Yep. But some of them have a, a port there. Yep, you can have a hole in the door. Just offer the hose yourself so you're getting a great water. And I see a drain down there. And that's a drain as well. And these range in price from... This one's around twenty-two, and then the other one's forty to fifty thousand, depending on the model. That's a big jump, twenty-two to forty. It's a big machine. It's a big machine. So you're dealing with twelve footers to fourteen footers. You're dealing with uh, stainless steel versing an epoxy cylinder. Fourteen is that as big as I get? It's the biggest wow. we've made yet. But we're talking about an eighteen-inch diameter cylinder. Versus. Yeah. So this trailer obviously is going to show up at all your. Uh, your rug events, correct? Uh, so is this many, just this? Many of them. Still trade show trailer, uh, training trailer. We'll go to. Uh, oh, use it for training too. Oh, there you go. go to facilities where we start okay. The mine show. Okay. So it's getting used a lot. Yeah. Let's go look at your. Uh, what do you call them? The rug weasel. Wolverine. I'm sorry. I've seen one road and you've seen them all. <laughs> So are you guys selling the uh, this stuff? I'm seeing more and more people the grids. not too into the grids, causing texture damage. I mean, you don't absolutely need one of these, right? Um, I work with straight concrete, so that will work. But it just means you have to pick up the rug, clean off the floor, yeah. clean off the rug, and start again. It's nice to have something where the dirt can fall away. Yeah, I agree with that. But is there a way to do it that's not so sharp? You can use expanded metal. There's guys who are using plastic interlocking tiles. And what about the rubber mats that uh, you see in commercial kitchens? The holes are too far apart? Yeah, possibly. The rug might move around. It might not actually give you the action. Yeah. The rug might dip down. So yeah, just doing it on AstroTurf. Never tried that. Might be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to spend the rest of the day pulling little plastic grass blades out of your... Chinese. <laughs> so, I don't know if I've ever seen the bottom of a Wolverine. I had one of the uh, red ones, pardon my French. But uh, what's different between this and a, the Badger? It's got two big wheels on it. Two rollers to hold down the fringe. And is the belt material different? Uh, yeah, in some cases, it's proved to be that way because we've replaced uh, belts for rugs and badgers in the past. But they're designed to be replaceable. I assume they eventually fray out, fall off. And, yeah. yeah. So that's just the way you Now, you guys have something, maybe it's built into that, but something that kind of holds the smaller rugs down for you? Wasn't there something called the rug helper, the Wolverine buddy? Yeah, that's not here? Other than that? Is there anything else any you produce that's any, not here? Any more than a Prince Ringer made by uh, our Moore division or a Rolla Jet made by our Moore division. Okay. These are big machines, 20,000 yeah, pounds. Yeah, yeah. What are you towing this thing with? A beautiful big, truck right over there. Truck right over on the other What's side. What is that? Conoline, big Ford thing? No problem? Super Duty, no problem. diesel. Hey, you got a whole truck mount right here. The Vanguard 31. Yeah, the generator that way were self contained. Operate everything electrically. Uh, what's in the little box up there? You don't even know, do you, Greg? Uh, I think it looks like it's a Guinness cooler to me. Oh, that's much bigger. That's inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is a work of art. So I talked you into coming to this event, you know. You did? Yeah. Was it worth it so far? You had a good time. Huh? You got a chance to see you speak and try to try to win an event. Yeah. See but have you sold anything yet? You, you never quite know, huh? Tons of interest. Yeah, a lot of interest. That's the most you could ask for, right? You got one more day to go. I never really sold anything at any church. They get back to you later. Yeah. There's so well, many things for them to look at. They want to look at everything. That's yeah, it's a lot, a lot to take in. Down. Yeah. Well, I haven't been to the Florida show, but I always heard the, the traffic was pretty low, but... I've been impressed with the amount of traffic yeah, here. I was here two years ago. Oh, you were? Yeah. And the only reason we did come was our engaged conversation regarding what you expected to happen. Yeah, I think it's
think it panned out. The inside's really busy too. Yeah. And today seemed to be a different crowd than yesterday. Normally it's, it's you see the same thread. It's wildly interesting to me that you have a number of folks that are thinking ahead of what they're going to do. Yeah. Uh, you got carpet cleaners, you got restoration contractors. I think the economy is getting a little boost to think in terms of... Yeah, I'm seeing it everywhere. It's pretty nice. Well, all right, boys. Excellent tour. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.